Hello artist, I'm gonna be going over how you could turn a piece of paper into a nighttime silhouette. So remember, a silhouette is something where the light source is behind your objects. So your objects appear black, even though if it was uh, the light was on in this room or something, they would be able to see the color on this dog and cat. But again, they just appear black because of where the light is. And that again is called a silhouette. It is not a shadow. So I recommend using a Sharpie for this project. I like to use the big old honkers, but if you don't have one, a little one is fine. And you want some kind of messy mat so you don't have to worry about your mess that you clean or on your bottom. You can use any type of colored paper. I have some really fun Royal Co. color diffusing paper that I've already diffused. And I'm going to go ahead and work on this bit. You can see I already kind of started on the edges. And I'm probably not going to finish doing the full outline of the window but I definitely want to make sure I have a messy mat underneath so I can go right along the edge you don't want to leave spaces and you can make, think about what you might want to see in like a winter landscape so in this one I put some animals you could put like a reindeer or something like that if it's around Christmas depending on when you're gonna do this or if you want it to be holiday-ish I'm gonna make a silhouette of a snowman by drawing it first remembering if I put like a nose in the front you're not gonna see anything so maybe I'll just put a little hint of a nose like it's looking up at the sky I'm gonna put a little hat. And then I'd have to color it all in black. So you can test and see how you think it looks. It'll have him reaching up for the sky. to color my name really well so let me just kind of scribble it in there and I think you'll get the gist maybe I want to put some pine trees by putting a central stick and then making V shapes down maybe I want to put a little house like it's really far away that's why I'm making it really tiny not because it is actually a tiny house. And I'd have to color that in too. Though I should probably put a chimney to make it look more wintry. And even though snow probably wouldn't be black, it makes this space up here look more interesting. So I'll put some snowflakes by putting X's and T's. But you can do something different too, like maybe you want to put little swirly whirlies. And then the last thing I recommend you do is to put the window panes. And for this, I do recommend a straight edge. If you have a ruler, that's great. If you don't use the side of a box or a book, try to line it up with the middle, remembering that the ruler is on one half of it. And if you look really carefully, you can see it's kind of scratchy, so I'm gonna go back. And yeah, it's gonna cover up part of your picture, and that's okay. So you can be really creative with what you think would look nice looking out your window to make it look really wintry. And silhouettes are nice because you don't have to add so many details on your picture. You just have the outline and then you color in the shapes all black each time. It would not make sense if you put like, you know, just like a couple red dots for buttons or something. Okay, everybody, happy arting today.